Hello everybody and welcome to the poor man's chemist. In this video I am going to be making the bispyridine silver 1 permanganate catalyst that we need for our prep of benzaldehyde from benzyl alcohol. Um, I went with this over barium manganate because barium manganate according to the paper has to dry in an oven at 100 C for 24 hours and that just wasn't feasible. So we're gonna go with this catalyst instead. Um, it takes a little bit more of it, about, I have about 0.01 to 0.02 moles per every 0.01 mole of reactant. But on the other hand, it's very easy to make. It doesn't require melting any potassium hydroxide with manganese dioxide to make potassium manganate and all that. This can be made just by wet chemistry at the bench. I did a video making this stuff before, but I figured it is part of the reaction I'm about to do. And back then when I made it, I just made it as a compound, not for any further use, just kind of by itself. Here, we are prepping it as the paper instructs. So, I've done the calculations. I have just enough silver and pyridine and... Um, to make a decent sized batch of this stuff, we'll cross our fingers and see what the yield is supposed to be. It's supposed to be 90%. We've got potassium permanganate in here, 19.45 grams. That is supposed to be dissolved in water at 10 C. As I have come to learn, potassium permanganate is not terribly soluble in water at 10 C. Um, I've cooled this down. It's still cool to the touch. It may not be perfect so far as the temperature goes, but I think we're in the right ballpark, and I think that's going to be okay. Um, now, we need... Where is it? Where did I put it? Where did I fuck up? There it is. Silver nitrate. So we got... What did I say in my notes here? My notes, I said I have... 20.91 grams of silver nitrate. We want to keep that out of the light, so we are going to transfer that into this beaker here. Get in there. Okay, that's all of it. We need to dissolve it and 10 times its weight in water. So we have that there. Get this dissolved, so we need a stir bar, one that will actually work on this piece of shit stir plate. I swear, man, these cheap fucking stir bars demagnetize over time, and getting them to work is such a pain in the ass. Alright, let's see. Rinse that with a little water. I know, right? <clears throat> Is it a chem lab? Is it a garage? Who knows? <laughs> All right. So that needs to dissolve. Hey, what do you know? The stir bars actually work. Maybe it's because I called it out and it's bullshit. All right, now, we are supposed to add the potassium permanganate, or rather add the pyridine to that, and then we are supposed to add the silver nitrate to that. Um, the Encyclopedia for Reagents for Organic Chemistry um, gave a different ordering of things, so I don't know that it's too horribly important. I don't know, we're going to hope it works, because that 600 mil beaker is the largest beaker I've got right now. I ordered another one liter one. It broke. Actually, that broke a while back. Okay, come on, we got like a couple pieces in here that just will not dissolve. Yeah, stir, you fucker. Okay, now you're just being obstreperous for no goddamn good reason. Okay. 
fucking thought. Sick of your bullshit. You better do what I fucking say, or I will annihilate your ass. Now, everybody focused? Okay. All right, we are going to add our purity into this. This is about 30 milliliters. I weighed it out as 30.80 grams. Okay, I really hope all of this is going to fit. You know what, I should probably cover that up. Before I start adding silver to it, since our catalyst is light sensitive. This is why I didn't want to work with this at first. It's very hard to film doing shit with silver. Okay. Don't you overflow, you son of a bitch. Alright, we've got our dark purple solid precipitating out, which you almost certainly can't see, but I promise you, it is there. Boy, filtering this motherfucker is going to be fun. Uh, okay, we're going to let this stir, covering it up. Okay, seriously? You're going to quit stirring when you're this fucking full. Okay, dude, what is your goddamn problem? Like, seriously. Now you're just, as the Brits would say, taking the piss. I think I use that expression right. Did I use that right, guys? I'll give you the American version. You're being a goddamn motherfucking asshole. Yeah, we ain't quite so cultured over here. Having your bullshit. You're gonna be this much of a dickhead. You don't get the hoity-toity shit. You get the uncouth redneck shit. It's all you're good for. <sighs> nope. Nope. You have pissed me off for the last time, stir bar. You can't cut it. Sitting here with my catalyst, photodegrading, while I gotta deal with your bullshit, and I'm smelling this goddamn pyridine. I had it. Had it with your crap. You can't cut it. We'll get somebody else in here to do the job that can. Yeah, see? There. All right. So, I stirred it up a little while more. And then I stirred it up with the stir bar grabby thingamajigger here a little bit more just to make sure it was stirred. Um, in fact, all right. Covering this up, I transferred some of it to another beaker because this one was extremely full using my trusty turkey baster. Yeah. Hey, man, don't knock it. If you've got a lab at home and you're working on a limited budget and you want something that will quick and easy transfer stuff like that, if it gets too full, it's made out of resistant plastic. I wouldn't trust it with organic solvents, though. Um, don't suck it up into the bowl here. But regardless, it works great in this case. And so we've got these ready to go. Um, uh, now, we just need to filter these fuckers. I am going to test a little bit of this and see if this is going to be easy to vacuum filter or evil to vacuum filter. And um, then we will go from there. If it is evil to vacuum filter, I will gravity filter it. May do that anyway, because if I gravity filter it, I don't have to take it out into the light. Remember, this this compound is photosensitive, so, you know, we want to, even though the bench is shaded, there's still ultraviolet light bouncing around. 
so we want to keep it out of that as much as possible. So, of fucking course, it's vacuum filtering perfectly because naturally it is. Like the one time that's actually kind of a bitch, it does it so goddamn good. I can't not do it because it's just so practical. Damn it. See, I woke up early this morning and my intention was to do this before the sun came up. But then I realized, oh shit, I've got to rinse this and benzene and recrystallize it from acetone and benzene and I didn't dry any acetone. <laughs> I also need dry DCM for the reaction. So I dried the um, stuff I had out over anhydrous mag sulfate and it's a very warm day today. So... Um, it, I just let it, you know, I, I, it didn't clump, and I let it sit over it for several hours because we absolutely have to exclude water from the aldehyde prep or our shit will over-oxidize to benzoic acid. Um, that isn't just this reagent. That is a generic feature of oxidizing al alcohols, primary alcohols, to aldehydes. you got to keep water out of the reaction. As it turns out, a lot of oxidizing agents... Stop, would stomp at the aldehyde if water wasn't around. So, yeah. Oh, God, I hate having to do this fucking silver compound. I die inside a little bit every goddamn time it exposed the light. Where's my goddamn watch? I get the fuck back on there and you get your ass over there. I gotta rinse your ass out. Fuck! Oh, why is everything gotta be a clusterfuck? No matter... How hard I try to make it otherwise. And if I'd waited till the middle of the night tonight, man, it wouldn't have worked really good either. It's like kind of now or never. Because I gotta be up early in the morning for something else. <sighs> Not video related, just something else. Personal life. Normal life, in other words. Interfering with my chemistry work. How dare it? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to continue this process, and I will come back when it is all filtered. Okay, people, so it's been a couple days, and this is what I've done here. So this stuff, um, filtered it, you know, rinsed it well, and I let, let it sit overnight and dry. Um, I then took a little bit of it and tried to test this, recrystallizing it from acetone and benzene. And what I discovered is that it will take so much benzene to do this, I just don't have enough. I mean, I would have to use all the benzene I have, and I'm not even sure that's enough. So, recrystallizing it as the paper instructed really wasn't feasible. What I did instead was I took the solid, I rinsed it again, with water very thoroughly, and then with benzene again, and then filtered it, let it sit here overnight, and it should be dry now. It might take a little while longer, but I think we are okay. We should be able to do the prep here in just a little while. Um, I'm going to take the day off of work today. Really shouldn't have, but I really want to get this done. So this is our stuff. And see, I know it's very hard to see anything, but it's just a black solid. There isn't really much to look at. Focus. Reeks of benzene. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, there it is. I do want to show you one more thing about this stuff. Um, it doesn't appear to be very explosive, but boy, will this shit burn. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you because, you know, it's a safety issue and I want you guys to know what you're dealing with here. Um, I also have more than enough of it to do so. But seriously, man, that don't bring this stuff inside. I was going to bring it indoors last night so it would be warm and it could dry out better. And then I test burned a little piece of this shit and I immediately brought it back out here because this stuff is basically a solid fire just waiting to happen. So... Let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so we've got a little chunk of our stuff here. Watch this. Mm. 
Yeah, it is a fire just waiting to happen. I believe the ignition temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. So this is not something that I would recommend you bring indoors. Uh, keep it outside just in case. So um, that wraps up our prep of the reagent. And now it's just the only thing left is to do the prep of the benzaldehyde. So I am going to go get this video on the internet. Hopefully it will scare up a little bit of support because God knows I need it. And um, then I'm going to get my ass to work on doing the benzaldehyde prep. Wish me luck. And if you're enjoying this content, please um, donate a few bucks. God knows I need it, man. Till the next one, guys, which should be coming out hopefully by tomorrow. I see you later.